Cardinal Sean O'Malley of Boston is calling for action on sex abuse cases involving top clergy. In a statement, O'Malley says, quote, the church needs to swiftly and decisively take action regarding these matters of critical importance. His appeal comes after reports of the sexual abuse of minors and adult seminarians by Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. Edward Penton, Rome correspondent for EWTN's National Catholic Register, joins us. Ed, how much weight do Cardinal O'Malley's comments carry at the Vatican? Well, considerable uh, weight, Lauren, because he is, uh, as you say, the Vatican's point man on this issue. He's basically the, the Vatican's, or uh, the Church's spokesman on the sexual abuse issue. Um, because he heads this pontifical commission. And that, of course, uh, relates to his experience uh, handling the fallout of the sex abuse crisis in Boston. And because of that, he was made uh, head of this commission. So uh, it does carry considerable weight. What's been the reaction at the Vatican to his comments and these allegations? Well, the reaction really has been uh, quite strong here. I mean, I was speaking to an elderly official earlier uh, yesterday uh, who was saying that uh, he's never experienced or never witnessed such contempt uh, from the laity directed at bishops because of this issue. Um, and there's also, I've heard sort of uh, comments talking about surprise, um, these allegations of um, Cardinal McCarrick, but also not surprise. Somebody said that everybody here knew about these allegations. Uh, they said, well, they certainly knew that he, um, the homosexuality of Cardinal McCarrick and that there were certain allegations uh, around, his, around him and around his history. Um, but also that there's, there's surprise that why it's coming out now, 45 years after these allegations uh, were for, uh, first happened. And so there is a, a mixture of surprise and not surprise. You know, here in Washington, I'm not sure if it's the same or not, uh, there are people speaking out saying they had no idea. What are you hearing from your sources um, about what action could happen based on what Cardinal O'Malley is asking for? Yes, well, Cardinal O'Malley is talking about uh, the need for transparency and consistency, con transparent and consistent protocols, as he called it, um, policies to be put in place, swift, uh, swift reactions to these cases. Um, but also uh, a process of reporting uh, when bishops and cardinals um, are alleged to have committed these abuses. Um, and also uh, just a general sense of um, accountability. I think that's what uh, one's hearing a lot, a real sense of a need for accountability from um, bishops and cardinals when they're accused of these kinds of allegations. And that certain uh, penal canonical uh, procedures, canonical penal uh, uh, pressures be put on uh, these cardinals when when they're found uh, guilty of these allegations. Do you expect the Pope to act, Ed? Uh, I think the Pope uh, will act. Uh, it's depend we just don't know, of course, how that will uh, manifest itself, but it's certainly the pressure is on for him to act. Whether he sets up some sort of tribunal uh, to deal with these cases, we don't know, but certainly that has been talked about in the past, and perhaps uh, the pressure now will be exerted on him to do just that. Edward Penton, Rome correspondent for EWTN's National Catholic Register. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Lauren.